What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Madden 16 Career Mode with Escobar Sanchez. The moral of the story is, is that the St. Louis Rams are undefeated. I want to know what lifetime we'll ever see the St. Louis Rams undefeated. The NFC West. With the Seahawks not too far behind. 5-3. and three, And your boy did get top player for week 8. I was balling last week. But for some reason, I'm not in the top running for MVP. Nick Foles is in the top running for MVP. Even though Nick Foles has a huge amount of interceptions. Also, we're not the only undefeated team in the NFL. The Dolphins are the other undefeated team in the NFL and I'm pretty sure if they had to face us we'd still remain as the lone undefeated team so starting off this gameplay on the second and eight Nick Foles throws to the sidelines to Kenny Britt who keeps two feet in bounds, and Escobar Sanchez is there to hype him up. On a first and ten in the red zone, Nick Foles finds a wide open Escobar, who hauls in the pass, shakes off his defender, and asks the crowd to get hyped, even though he knows. He's not playing at home. Watch the savageness. This savage get off me. Harrison Smith looked like he was trying to touch Escobar's penis right there. I don't know what was going on, but uh, something was going on, you know? Escobar wasn't having that, you know what I'm saying? You can even see Escobar saying that I can't hear you because the crowd was mad silent. And there'll be even mad silencer on this first and 10 play. And Escobar does it again. A 80 yard touchdown. And the perfect throw by Nick Foles. Escobar, as soon as he caught that pass, turned up field, turned on the Jets. And the same, look, look, Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith is really, really, really trying to touch Escobar's penis. For some reason, I don't know why. Harrison Smith wants Escobar's nuts. Harrison Smith, chill out. So on our next offensive possession, Minnesota wasn't able to put any points, any points on the scoreboard. So this is the time where we have to strike big because Minnesota put up 10 points on us. There were a time where they were up by three in this game. Minnesota can be for real if we do not if we do not put a brakes on their offense early, we got to kill their momentum. So on a third and two, Nick Foles drops back. Escobar finds the hole in the zone. And there he goes again, off to the races. Kid Ocean. Mike Zimmer is absolutely livid right now with his defense. You cannot just sit back and underestimate 90 speed. Yes, I know he's 6'7", but the guy can outrun almost anybody. So with just a little bit left in the first half, the Vikings now find themselves down by 11 points. Third and five, Nick Foles throws a dot. 
to Quick, who was wide open in the zone. And you can just see the Vikings defense. They're just, they're, they're deflated right now. Third and seven, throwing it out to Escobar, who comes down with it again. For his fourth TD of the game. And we're not even in the second half yet. So well into the third quarter, we're already up by 31 to 10. We do fumble the ball here. Trey Mason. Come on, Trey Mason. You you can't keep fumbling the ball like that. Come on, Trey. And people wonder why we struggle with the running game. It's because of things like that. Them coughing up the football and before coming out but with all these breaks that the Vikings are getting apparently they cannot seem to put points on the board our defense is doing extremely well and that is another rest by Trey Mason that goes backwards let's see if they can keep on a second and 13 we decide not to turn the ball anymore with Trey Mason but to go up top to the man who's been hot not just all day but all season and check out these numbers. After having a huge game last week, this week, he's five receptions for 109 yards and four TDs already. Second and 10. Going in motion. Nick Foles finds Escobar in the middle of the field. Who escapes in the looting? Beret of tackles. And look at the day. That Nick Foles is having four touchdowns. First and goal, make it five touchdowns as Escobar he keeps finding the holes in the defense. Seven receptions, 207 yards, five touchdowns. In the midst of a special game. Oh my gosh! How about that? He just tied the receiving touchdown record in the NFL. Chris Berman went on to go say that Escobar is already the offensive rookie of the year, and we're only in Week Nine. But apparently, Trey Mason cannot seem to get it going. 13 rushes for 38. Coach, take Trey Mason out. Coach, take Trey Mason out. Put in Todd Gurley. Let me see what Todd Gurley can do. Oh, oh, oh. Is that Todd Gurley? Todd Gurley taking it the distance. Oh, fuck. I almost ran into him. Oh, my gosh. For some reason, whenever Todd Gurley breaks free, I always run into him. I almost made Todd Gurley fall again. This reminds me, way back in week four, when we played the Arizona Cardinals in Arizona. Watch Todd Gurley break free, trying to make some more downhill blocks. But I almost ran into him, almost tripped him up, and caused him not to score. Thing almost happened here. Look at the downfield blocking, but just look at the poor pursuit angles by the Minnesota Vikings. And I almost ran into Todd Gurley. I have to be more careful with that. But it really doesn't matter because we are up by 35 late in the fourth quarter. So we already won the game, and you already know this is your day when the when these things happen. Watch the batted pass. The pass was batted down by one of the Minnesota Vikings defenders. And Kenny Brick was right there to catch the ball before it hit the ground. And that's the same. Harrison Smith has just been having a bad day. Harrison Smith could have picked that ball off, but instead he tipped it right into the hands of Kenny Brick. And for one last time, let's throw more salt in the room. Nick Foles, a nice, beautiful pass in the back of the end zone to Derek Cook. And look at the day he had. 300 <laughs> 349 yards for six touchdowns. 
pass touchdown record. Wow, I like his chances of getting it, don't you? The way they are playing on the offensive side. A crazy game by Nick Foles and Escobar Sanchez. We put up a 50 burger, won by 42 points, and destroyed the Minnesota Vikings at their home field. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like if you're new to the channel. Do not forget to subscribe. More Madden 16 career mode coming soon. I'm your boy NSG Commentary. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.